Whenever it finishes spinning, yeah, we're live. Okay. Oh, Pop me out. Okay. Let me see. Oh. Booted me out. Hold on. I can spell. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And there. All right. Ready to go. Okay. And we're live. Mm -hmm. Ah, we're here. Wait a few minutes. Or, um, oh, it's showing me the Facebook um, link. Yeah, because I just or put the it up comment. There. Yeah, I the just comment. Put it up there, the comment. Wonderful. And you'll be able to see the comments. Uh, there's three people on already, or four actually, or two, two, two. There's one right there. Hi, Betsy. I am going to mute my mic so you don't hear me. I don't know if they okay. can hear me, but I'm muting my mic. Uh, they shouldn't, yeah, okay. So I'm okay. gonna mute it anyways. All righty. I have a helper as well, yay. Hi, Be Betsy. <laughs> uh, I wish I could see you too, but um, maybe we can do a face-to-face -face or one of those Zoom things. But um, yeah, I miss seeing everybody. I'm sure we all do. We're just waiting for people to come on board a little bit here, a couple of more minutes. I sent out reminders, all sorts of things. Hope you're doing well. And feel free to make a comment. Be right back. Hope you have your uh, beverage of choice. And my little iced tea here, keep hydrated. And um, oh, it just shows it's one o'clock right now. So, um, so we'll just wait a couple of minutes here for people to join. We have five people, yay. Um, I can't see everybody's comments um, as yet. Uh, Johnny, uh, switch over. Oh, I can do that myself, never mind. Here we go. We have Betsy and Courtney, yay, hi. And um, cool, very good. All right, 
So we'll get together. Give me time to decompress a little, a little bit here. So um, welcome to my live art show. Um, art shows have been canceled and uh, they're trying to reschedule so many of them, but I don't know that that's gonna happen with the, the latest uh, art breaks and so. But um, this art show is serves um, a couple of, of um, there's a couple of reasons why I wanna do this. Um, one is to clear not only uh, some of my older items and share with you one of a kind originals, uh, make space for new ones. I'm finally able to get back into my studio uh, at the Alameda Artworks and um, it's, it's um, a good place to be. I have wonderful lighting and uh, I'm just uh, anxious to, to get back into it. Uh, secondly, um, I am donating, as most of you know, I'm donating 50% of the proceeds from today to go to the uh, Know Your Rights camps um, that serves uh, black and brown uh, youth and young adults for uh, leadership skills and um, educational and so forth. So. Um, that's what we're doing this besides, um, and you'll see more and more from not only myself, but other artists as well. Uh, we have to adjust to the times and that's why I'm doing a live art show. <laughs> and, um, and I want this one to benefit um, the, uh, this particular nonprofit. And I see Lisa, hi Lisa, and Terry from Ohio, oh, from Cheek, no, Ohio. Well, hi Terry. <laughs> I'm getting that print out to you next week. Um, okay, so let's get started, I think. Uh, and also um, make a comment, uh, ask questions. Um, the discount for today is um, discounted to clear out some inventory, but also to make available to you um, items that are not on my website, number one. There are most of them are originals, one of a kind that will not be reprinted as fine art prints. And uh, as I go through them, I'll let you know, um, most of them are signed. So that's an extra special um, uh, element to, the, to this whole thing. So um, anyway, let's get started. So number one, and uh, yeah, ask questions. Number one. So um, I have my number one is a set of note cards with the envelopes, a set of four. Uh, regular price is $25 and um, I'm uh, offering them today for 20 and they're assorted. So um, there's various Uh, images on there. Uh, they will be signed and the title is on the back as well. Um, these are also frameable. So that's one. Here's one of my favorites, Shades of Granite, but this is just a detail um, of that painting. And this painting, the original is aquifer and it has a lot of texture. So the camera really captured the texture. So it's pretty cool to see or to have. So um, if you're on Facebook, if you go to the top of the comments, um, you'll see my link to the landing page and um, you can go directly to that landing page and make your purchase for a set of note cards. Um, if you have any questions, please ask any ish, uh, problems with that link, let me know. And um, the, if you make a comment here, you can just say number one, sold, and you, the uh, timestamp will be honored. Uh, from right now, it's, uh, let me see, YouTube, it's being live streamed on YouTube and Facebook. 
Okay. Questions for number one? All right, let's continue. Number two. Number two. Um, now this piece here um, is so different from my current work. Um, when I was in uh, ceramics class in um, at San Jose City, um, I did various sculptures. Um, I found it was more, um, I liked the, uh, not so much the functional uh, ceramics, plates and mugs and so forth, but more the uh, decorative and um, more artistic, I suppose. And so this is a 3D base ceramic glazed, and I added, added other elements to it to make it, you know, make it pop, a 3D effect on a flat surface. This is um, just a board, and this can be framed. This is a six by six. It can be framed in like in a shadow box type of frame, um, and it's light enough that you could just add or I will try if you, depending on who makes the purchase, we can talk and I can add a little um, hook to this. Um, and we'll, we'll, make it, we'll make it work, okay? And don't forget there is free shipping on any items that you purchase today. So that last one was number number two there uh, was spring that that piece six by six piece. So um, yeah, mixed media on just board. All right, uh, let's see. Now we have oh sorry number three. This is very similar, and after I did the glazes and I was doing a little bit of um, discovery with the glazes. Um, on these faces, and this one came out. Now this is cone 10, so they're pretty, pretty hardy, which is the highest firing you can have on ceramics, and to my knowledge, is a cone 10. And this piece is called Autumn, and it is six by six. Again, on gesso board. Um, I painted the background in acrylics, uh, like I did the other one as well. And I added other elements. Uh, this is a resin, um, kind of a clay that hardens and is very durable with um, some moss here and the berries. Okay. And and the uh, both number two and number three, they regularly go for sixty dollars, and today's uh, price it are for is forty. And that is um, the $40 shows up on my landing page on my website. Okay. Oh, that was number three. Oh, number four. You always try to be organized, right? <laughs> number four, thank you for the reminder. It's the Japanese iris, number four. Now, this is a very, very uh, small, um, limited edition. The original is a watercolor that I did for my brother and sister-in-law that live up in Oregon. And I decided, um, I liked it so much, and this is approximately, oh, 2003. I was still teaching in the public schools at that time, and um, I had this uh, urge to start painting, and I started with watercolor, and since they had just moved into a new home, I decided to gift them a, um, a painting, and they love uh, Japanese decor, and I found a photo of this Japanese iris. Um, I love the purples, and, um, I really like the way it came. So that's the story behind that. 
the Japanese iris is there. It is uh, signed and dated right over here. And this is ready to uh, frame. It's a 15 by 11. This is number three um, of eight. So I only did eight, um, eight copies of this uh, Japanese iris. So that's a good buy. And let me see. Regular price is $100 for the fine art print and you today is offered at 75. Okay. Uh, yes, Rhonda, the card set is $20. Yeah, thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, are we on to number five then, yes? Okay, number five. And the reason I'm doing the numbers as well, if I ever live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time, um, I need the numbers on Instagram. So this is a frame piece. And um, the original, uh, it is an oil, um, oil uh, and wax on paper. And um, these small ones here are not going to be reproduced at all. So these I'm just selling as originals. I mat double matted it. It is uh, dated and signed. So it's 2019 and signed, double matted, uh, archival. Uh, the frame, you can always change the frame if it's not up to your liking. And the frame comes with the uh, hardware to hang as well. And I did also sign the back of the original painting. So it's it's on, not only signed on the mat, but on the original as well. Okay. So, and yes, it's untitled. It's not the easiest thing. I hope you can see it with, there's a little glare with all the lights and the windows and everything. So this is textured. Uh, when you use uh, oil and cold wax, the, um, uh, it creates a texture and then I finish it off with a couple of coats of um, just plain wax without color and I give it a little polish. Okay, so, um, so Rhonda, if, if you're on Facebook, go to the comment at the, um, there should be the first comment that I made and there's a link there. Uh, maybe you could test it out for me. Uh, go to that and uh, link on it and it should take you right to the landing page on my website. So if you'd be so kind to test it, that'd be cool. I know it works, okay? All right, okay, so now, so this is untitled and this was number five. Okay. And heard a ding somewhere. I don't know where that's coming from, but. <laughs> okay. So number six, number six is a poster um, I had made of a um, original I still have. Um, when people are doing art shows, you know, um, festivals and art walks and so forth, a lot of people have uh, posters and so that people, you know, passing by if they want a particular your artwork but can't afford the big original piece uh, they offer uh, posters and um, this is framed and this is a poster of my piece called delight and it does just have my name there um, it's archival and I just framed it um, I believe this is glass not plexiglass and the frame uh, which I think looks just fine with the black frame and it does have um, hanging mechanisms there. If you can see, it's hard to see uh, the black against the black. Um, okay, so um, the Delight is highly textured and when the photographer took 
the pictures of my originals. Um, they, oh my gosh, what, how they capture all the shadows and the highly textured surfaces. Um, it's in, it pretty incredible. So when you see a reprint of my originals and that's, you're getting a lot of glare. I know I see that now. Um, but you will get a better picture of this on my website um, or better image, excuse me. And um, if you're interested in any of the pieces, uh, let me know and I will um, send you an individual image of the piece and um, and then we can go from there. OK, so this is 16 by 20, which is the outside frame. And that's the size of that. And um, this is. Um, regular 125 and I am um, offering it at 100. Okay. And any more comments? There. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, here we go. So I hope you all brought your beverage and are uh, staying hydrated. It's going to be another warm one where I am. Green tea. Yeah. All right, number six. Okay, this is number seven. And I will take it out of its um, protective covering so you don't get the, the um, glare and the highlights and so forth. So uh, this is archival. It is an oil and wax on paper, just like that little five by seven. And you can see the polish of the wax there on the surface. And let's see, the camera has to adjust up oh, the other way. See the colors. And um, and I do mount it on the mat is double matted and it is signed and dated on the back. And this I named Springtime Pond because I usually don't, I do not uh, title my pieces until after they're done. When I do the abstracts, um, the paintings evolve. And depending on the colors and the application of the paint, um, this is oil and wax, so it it stays wet a little bit longer than acrylic, so I get to play with it more on the surface, uh, scrape away and add on and so forth. So there's quite a process to this. And um, um, okay, oh, I see. I'm getting messages about people trying to. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Um, I'm sorry, there's a, several people that want to um, see this show, so let me, oh, there it is. Uh, uh. Okay, let's see. That works. Okay, all these tech issues, right? Okay, so anyway, so let's back go back to this one. Springtime Pond, eight by ten. The the actual uh, painting, and then um, it is matted, so you end up with uh, I believe um, sixteen by twenty. Uh, sorry, I cut myself off on my notes here. Uh, about sixteen by twenty, or so. No, not that big. Smaller than that. Okay, I'll take the measuring tape out if you want. <laughs> but it is, the original is an 8 by 10 okay? Oh, and the price. All right, so um, Springtime Pond, a regular 175 and today is 150 And this is ready to frame as well. Hey, number eight. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. 
Thank you for your support. Oops, upside down. All right. This, uh, if you saw my video earlier announcing this show, um, at the time this was untitled. And after looking at it and um, the colors and sitting with it for a while, I decided to call it the quelling. Um, you know, for stillness and serenity and a quiet, quiet time, solace. Um, the texture, it's highly textured uh, with paper and the paint. And um, yes, it is ready to hang. The, um, um, oh, thank you, Rhonda. She said the landing page is working just fine. Um, so this has was reworked a couple of times, and this is not going to be on my website at all. And so there's no there's not going to be any reprints. So your whoever purchased this this piece is going to have one of a kind original from me that is signed. It is a newer piece with um, the oil and wax that I am using more and more of. This is canvas. Uh, I am doing. Um, the oil on um, on wood panels, and uh, it does work on canvas as well. So I'm I'm really uh, and I have some bigger pieces on on with the oil and the wax on the canvas. And as soon as if I prepare the canvas correctly, there is no issues with the oil being on the canvas with the wax. All right. So this is ready to hang. Hardware there, and um, it is uh, 12 by 16. Um, now, any of my pieces, if you go to my website, um, any of my abstract pieces, um, this I painted this direction, but if you go vertical or do a 680, see, it just gives it a different look to it. And so that could be a whole almost landscapey kind of thing there going on and there you go that's um the quelling all right so uh this is a 12 by 16 regular 300 dollars and for today is 275 and this can also be framed if, if you so wish, but you don't have to. It is ready to hang just the way it is. Okay. That is number eight. Okay. Number nine. Now, this is going to be a little far. I'm going to pull one of them. Okay, I'm going to move the camera, so bear with me. This is a quadiptic, which is four pieces. And I lost some of my lighting, but um, this is on panel. Uh, this is a sand, gel medium, and glue. And I use metallic uh, gold and copper to it. And um, they're ready to hang, as you can tell. And this, the four pieces there, let me go back this way, adjust the camera again. So number nine here is called Molten Two. It is four, each piece is um, uh, 10 by 10. So each piece is 10 by 10, wood panel, sign, dated, with the title and so forth, and ready to hang. And um, so the finished piece would be 20 by 20, okay? So this is regular, would be um, $800 on my website if I did have it on there, but I don't, or in an art show even, right? Um, but for today, it's $600 for the four pieces, okay? Great deal. So um, 
if you are inclined, uh, if this speaks to you, um, then by all means. So people often, have, oh, that was unplanned. <laughs> No damage done. Okay, um, people often ask about um, buying artwork and whatever the subject matter is, if it speaks to you, then, you know, it. that's what you go with what speaks to you. If you're trying to match your sofa, but you hate the painting, that's not gonna work. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, um, so ask away if you have any questions. Uh, you can always email uh, me uh, if you want to leave a comment, have a question, uh, message me, whatever, whatever, um, however you can get a hold of me. So I'm just checking here to see. All right. All right, so now for number 10. Are you ready for number 10? And well, maybe I can just move it forward. How about that instead? Here we go. This is Lucky 8 or Molten 8. And the reason I chose Molten is because it reminded me of hot, you know, um, metal melting. And um, this actually took a long time to do to get the right color combination of the, um, of the, the metallics. And a lot of work goes into these because um, it's a dry brush. There's no water used, just the paint itself. And, um, it's, and it's not just painted on. You really need to get the paint into the, all the little grooves and crevices here that the texture makes. Okay. Now this one as well, I think I put it on, um, on my Facebook uh, page that this whole piece could be um, horizontal as well. So you would have your eight laying sideways, <laughs> so to speak. All right, so that's number 10. I'm gonna put that down for a minute. Uh, so uh, lucky eight, these are nine by 12. So there's four of them, nine by 12s. And so your overall size would be uh, 18 by 24. Okay, regular price would be um, eight sixty five, and uh, today's price for this show and the benefit um, that I'm donating the fifty percent, as most of you know, of the proceeds today to um, Know Your Rights Camp, and um, today's price is six fifty. Okay, six hundred and fifty dollars. So um, let's see. Any? Let me check. Yeah, so one of a kind, originals, most of them. Um, the only, the iris is the only one that's duplicated uh, eight different times, but um, for today's offering is, is, um, is, is um, presenting it for $75. So all the other pieces are, are, are one of a kind, and, and even the poster is only one. I did not make more than that one for that poster of Delight. And um, and I have one bonus piece. So uh, let's see, just checking the messages or the comments. And if you put a comment on, um, well, I'll have to check. Uh, just a reminder after I'm done here that uh, the show um, will continue to live on Facebook. Um, I will post it on Instagram on the IGTV and um, it'll live on Facebook as well. I mean, YouTube, excuse me, YouTube. And um, if anyone wants to view one of the pieces or 
here today right now then you know let me know all right so let me make more room i'll be right with you Okay, so as I'm going through my stash of early work and um, classroom work and you know, from ceramics to figure drawing and so forth, I came across this piece here that I really, really like. And this is my bonus piece. This is a figurative pastel on paper. This, the model of, the name of this model is Crow, and his features were so um, distinct and um, very, uh, with a lot of dignity. And, um, and I don't know if Crow uh, was his given name or if that was just his um, uh, quote unquote stage name, you know, as a model you know, how actors, you know, give themselves uh, different names. So um, this is Crow, ready to frame. Pastel uh, on paper and, um, and yeah, really, really like this one. Okay, so um, this is a 20 by 24 and um, this, I forgot the year, I would have to look it up. Uh, sorry about that, so maybe 20, 13, 2014, and um, uh, 20 by uh, 24, like I said, regular price would be 950, and uh, today's uh, price is um, lost my place here, hold on, uh, 500. There you go, see it better. Okay. All right, that's um, all I have for today. And uh, those are the items I have for today. So um, little by little, making room for my new pieces. Um, I have a lot more in, in my studio and then um, some of my early work as well that I have just hanging in my house <laughs> right now. Um, right now you can see a little one over by the fireplace and I have more. So those, um, uh, who knows where they're all gonna go. But, um, but my, my grandson did say <laughs> that a couple of weeks ago while they were here and he says, so Nana, when, when you die, are your, are, are, is your artwork gonna be worth a lot of money? Are you gonna make us rich? <laughs> right, the things that kids say, right? Okay. Um, so, um, there is free shipping in the intercontinental US and uh, contact me um, at any time for any of the works. And these will be, the price will be available until um, Monday night. Uh, and you will still get the price that I presented today. And um, so you can either make a comment and put sold for the number of the piece that you want or go to my landing page, which you will find on um, on my Facebook page. Let's see if I have covered everything. And most of you know how to contact me, either Facebook, Instagram, Lucy Gelfi Fine Arts, and, um, and or call me. <laughs> All right, so. Terry, thank you for joining me from Ohio. And um, maybe I'm not seeing everybody here. Uh, let's see. We've got, and Veronica, of course. Yeah, and Betsy, and Courtney, and Ruthann. There you go. And Lisa was here too. All right, so, um, or is still here. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody. And uh, 
I'll let you know when I have the next uh, live show. It, I think it's going to be the 27th. Um, and I have um, a very special piece for that one. I'm just going to highlight that one piece. And um, the proceeds for that will be benefiting the, um, the farm workers. So um, very close to... Um, very close to my heart, um, the farm workers. Um, my family came from migrant farm working. So, and my summers are spent there, like many of you as well, living in this in this area. Um, so enough of that, I will keep everybody posted. And um, thank you everybody so much. Really appreciate you being here. Bye, ciao.